G'day folks, it's Patrick here. Well today I'm gonna to try something that I've never tried before. Uh, it's a dish that I've heard about many, many times over the years. It's a Cajun classic and it's called gumbo. That's right folks, and here it is. Now, I don't know if this is going to be authentic or not. Maybe one day I'll make my own version of gumbo. But in the meantime, I've got this. Gumbo and rice, Cajun entree mix, Louisiana fish fry products. There you go, folks. All right, let's have a look and see what the ingredients are on this bad boy. What have we got here? Enriched long grain parboiled rice. Rice, iron, niacin, thiamine, monoitrate, folic acid, enriched wheat flour, genetically modified flour. Ooh. Uh, what's that? Used Malted thyme. barley flour. Thyme and mono nitrate again. Riboflavin. Right right one. Genetically modified corn starch. Hydrolyzed vegetable protein. Hydrolyzed corn gluten. Chicken and sausage gumbo. In a four quart pot, combine six cups cold water or chicken stock and LA fish fry gumbo and rice entree mix. Stir often while bringing to the boil. Then add in two pounds of thoroughly cooked chicken and or sausage. Bring to a second boil, reduce, simmer for 25 minutes and enjoy. And then there's one here for seafood gumbo. Mmm. As it happens, I do have some seafood on hand. I think I'm gonna make a seafood gumbo. What do you reckon? Let's go. Righto, what I'm gonna do is uh, chuck the six cups of water in this pot here. Uh, and we'll uh, open up this box and see what's inside. This gumbo mix here. And uh, well, it looks uh, and feels sort of like, uh, well, just a gravy mix, really. I mean, it's all powdery. I can't even see any rice in there, but I'm assuming these folks know what they're doing, so we'll have to trust them, won't we? So in it goes, I'm going to stir that around, bring it to the boil, and I'm going to chuck in our seafood mix here that I bought fresh from the supermarket. Well, I think it was frozen and now it's thawed out, so it must be fresh, right? Chuck all that in, boil it up, and this should be good times. Now, since I'm not actually making gumbo from scratch here, why should I make anything else from scratch, eh? So I got myself some cheap store-bought garlic bread. I love this stuff, folks. I'm gonna stuff it full of cheese. I'm gonna stuff some jalapenos in there, and we're gonna call it a, uh, well, stuffed cheesy jalapeno garlic bread, aren't we? Righto, folks, let me just tell you, the aroma in this joint is unbelievable. It smells absolutely delicious. Let me just get a spoon. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Full of seafoody goodness, folks. And the gravy is perfect. The only thing I didn't show you was I added a little bit of chicken stock to the water. But apart from that, nothing else. Just some stock powder. And then the seafood. And let it boil down. This is delicious, folks. I can imagine it'd be great with pork, with chicken, with sausage. Mmm. I'm very happy with that, folks. And of course, I've been healthy today and made myself a little 
side salad to go with it. Mmm. Oh, perfect. Mmm. This marinara mix has got prawns, mussels, some sort of white fish, calamari. It's delicious. Mmm. The cheesy jalapeno garlic bread, folks. <laughs> Dip some in the gravy. And of course, a perfect accompaniment. A bit of the old Frank's Red Hot. Not that it's very hot. But that's going to be delicious and I would say use any hot sauce of your choice folks put extra chilies in there go wild mm. oh yeah Louisiana fish fry gumbo and rice winner winner seafood dinner folks thank you so much for watching this is 10 out of 10 this stuff I really appreciate it if you give me a big thumbs up for this one. Stay tuned for the next video about to pop up on your screen somewhere. Go and look at that. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.